Alrighty, welcome back. Let's get to this. We are going to get all of our commands in place. Uh, the movement commands, the new commands, the delete command. Let's get it all done in one pass. We'll have to do some editing later, but let's get this. Uh, let's get all the framework in place in one pass. Delete child command. Simple, explanatory. You want to delete the child currently selected from whatever item this is. This will be generic. You can use the same delete child command for the layers, segments, and paths. New layer command, of course, that's very specific. New child command. We really will only have we'll have segments and we will have the paths. Anything that needs something selected will need the refresh can execute. I know other people call it different things. I've always used refresh can execute. Would be nice if when the parameter was updated through the binding that can execute was called, but I guess there are situations where you don't want that. Simple enough. It's a parent and has a selected item you can execute. It's a menu view. And we return true because it's and it has a selected item, then we return true because it'll be a layer that's selected or a segment. Checking again that the selected item is not equal to null. They used to bug me so much because I just checked in the can execute. If this is enabled, it should not be equal to null. But some bosses, some managers, some people that think they should be bosses or managers, they'll throw a hissy. Of course, we're just telling the parent to remove me. So new layer commands, you can always click the new layer button and create a new layer. Simple enough. We don't even need a refresh can execute on this one. New child command. Still the be lazy and still the refresh can execute from over here. Parameter is an I parent.
And we'll grab it and tell it to create a new child. Or should I say, we'll check a selected item and tell it to create a new child. And if it has a layer or a segment, yeah, you can. It's the main view. We want to. Check if it has a selected item. If it's a parent item. We return the child. Once again, yes, that is redundant. What I'm typing in. Let's get to our move commands. Change the code a little bit on these guys. And remove top and move bottom. Keep your eye open. I think you can still use the original ones in the control classes. That's simple enough. We're moving up. So if it's not zero, it can move up. This code will be exactly the same for move top. So we're just going to copy and paste. It can't execute. But if this is uh, not a segment or a layer, if it's a um, lower level item, Right now, we only have paths, but we can go in and add ellipses and all the other shapes to it. And if it's one of them, we of course check our parent. And if check our parent if we are not the top item already. And 
in this list. Pretty sure I made a mistake up there, but I'm going exactly by my demo code, my mock-up code, so I'm going to leave it. That should be up above if the count is greater than zero, not if the count is equal to one. Yeah, that makes total sense. I don't even like to change little things like that. If this isn't on a deadline, I instead prefer to take it, write a note, and come back and change it. Be kind of faithful to our mock-up, to our prototype. But you can feel free to change it. I can just imagine me saying in a later video, I don't remember doing that. So we want to grab the selected item because we're going to move up and since we're moving up we're messing with the array the, with the observable collection. So we want to reset the selected item to our item after we move it. And it does actually matter sometimes. And I've tried to figure out when it matters and when it doesn't and I can't. So the biggest difference here is we're going to move top. Everything else is the same between move up and move top. Alrighty, time to jump over to the to the move down and move bottom command. Put our refresh execute in there. Refresh can execute. In the same way as the move top and move up, the move down and move bottom will be almost identical, except for that one line of code. What is going on with my keyboard? That was not funny. I don't know if that was my keyboard or Microsoft. It just kept going and going. It's done that a few times. But I don't know if it's Windows or my keyboard. If it's less than the last item, then yeah.
And of course, in our world, in this application as it is right now, every item is going to be a base item. Every selected item in its parent is going to be a base item. They may be an I parent item, but they are at least going to be a base item. The parent, actually, the parent should always be an I parent item. So, why would I want that Microsoft? Airplane fun flying overhead. I don't know what's worse, pushing the mute on the microphone in the big pop it makes, or the airplane. <laughs> Here comes another one. I'm just going to leave it. Yes, I've given away my location that I'm somewhere within a hundred mile radius of an airport. Alrighty, we're getting there. If there's anything that you want to see in WPF, UWP, or Windows Apps SDK, go ahead and just put it in the comments. One person replied that they wanted a SQLite tutorial. So there's an hour and a half SQLite tutorial out there now. If I'm familiar with it, I'll do it if I have time. Just take time to write and come up with something that makes sense. Like I said, just copy and paste again. Change the move down to move bottom. We have our major commands done. I believe we have all the commands for this tour done. Let's jump into the world of implementing our commands now. Jump back to the main view as we're going to put our commands in here to bind to them. If IntelliSense will let me, that is. I think I heard IntelliSense is failing. does mean it's kind of like Skynet in that way. Typo in the finder replace. <laughs> Couldn't find that. Move bottom and move down. Child, delete child, new layer. It's messing with me a bit. It's a 
love to put some bluegrass on a flat picking guitar old country music whenever I'm programming so I can be, type along to the beat because it's so fast it makes me type I think faster Getting weird looks when I have a project manager or ask me what I'm listening to. <laughs> Blacks and Scruggs. Got some Hank Williams on here too. Go ahead and get a new layer in place. just a matter of what you're listening to does control how fast you type. Alrighty, that's it. If you got something out of this, like and subscribe. We're going to jump on to the next video. I will see you there. All glory be to God.